Tonight is two weeks since Yarloop was devastated by fire, but after so much pain, today there was a happy reunion between a Waruna family and the firefighters who battled so hard to save their home. The owners fled as the flames surrounded their property, but two firefighters didn't give up. Jordan Cutts reports. A ferocious firestorm that became too intense for John O'Ward. Just minutes after he fled, two firefighters ran towards the inferno. In the middle of a 32-hour shift, adrenaline kicked in. So all the furniture was on fire, the um, awnings were on fire, the roof was on fire. It was just one big ball of um, red flames. Together they defended the Waruna home for hours as the firestorm raged on around them. It was a nasty fire, or an angry fire, so we're pig-headed and we weren't going to let it beat us. <laughs> Flames made it all the way to the back door, but the home was spared. Cheers. All Thank right, you very buddy. much. No worries. Without you boys, I wouldn't have a home, so <laughs> what do you say to someone that's saved your house? As Jono drove off that night, he turned to see the front of his house on fire. He called his wife and told her their home had been lost. It wasn't until five hours later that a mate called and told him the good news. They've got some balls for, for driving into that firestorm. It's the same bushfire that destroyed Yarloop. The town's future still uncertain. It was home for these joeys too. Now orphans and also bearing the scars for getting all the help they need. See if you can give her a honey stick to chew on. <laughs>